Hello and welcome back to Minecraft with me, DX Phoenix. As you can see, we're in the barn and we're smelting up some stone, which I'm just going to take that now. I've got a new machine called the painting machine. This is useful for one thing, well, several things, but what we need it for is to paint the condu conduit facades uh, to look like cobblestone. And the conference conduit facades are eight conduit binders in the shape of a furnace. Uh, you just pelt, you, you then paint them, and then they look like it will then just look like cobblestone. But right now, something we need to look at is these vector plates. And let's just grab ooh, a stack for now. I think a stack looks good. We can always come back and get more another thing we'll need is a wand we meet that with two sticks and a diamond uh, why are you thinking why do we need a builder's wand well for any of you that saw in the last episode something we've been working on Ta -da! This is why we need a wand. Because to put all this in is very difficult on your own. One thing I just need to do grab those levers. Right then, so you're the mob grinder, so I'll have to put signs on these soon. Speaking of mob grinder, uh, mob basher, which we made in the last episode, and I'm just going to go hop in here and put it in. There. And when we click the switch, will it start going? Right. So now to these facades. As you can see, pop them in, and it hides. Facades. If we had the Ender IO yet a wrench, which I'll probably make a bit later, to show you, you can actually look through these facades and see these conduits. I'm hoping I have enough. Of these. This is purely to hide stuff, and we can even do this later on in later builds to hide our conduits. I'm missing everything now. Yeah, yeah, I can do math. Cool. Right. Now, where's my wand? Actually, before I even continue this. Let's just grab as much cobble as possible. Blech. Blech. There we go. Right. The first side of actually no, that's where glass is going, isn't it? Next thing I'm going to need, so I should pop down this vacuum chest here, along with the vacuum experience. Always active. That's good. That should always be active as well. Right then. So vector plates. Oh, wow. So I want one going there, one going there, and you going there. Right then. As you can see. 
they will just push you in the direction of where these plates are facing. Okay. And they can easily stack on top of each other like so. there and these are the slowest versions of the plates oh, they seem to stack them like that that made me quick might pick that up There we go. Ooh, we need more plates. Fortunately for us, I do happen to have a lot of resources to do that. Ooh! And look at this. One of our ender lilies. That's going to give us a pill. Oh, I'm sure that is an appropriate place. Yay, growing ender pearls. Right, so vector plates. Could do this one, it just requires dark sugar. In order to make dark sugar, is. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, we can't because we haven't killed with the skeletons. Which does require us going into the nether. Everything. I have more slime balls. I can always make more sugar. Stone is in abundance. So, for anyone that wasn't sure, what is going to happen is the mobs are going to be sent down here towards that. Hence, all the arrows pointing towards it. do here. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to bring this wall down a little bit manually. to do this from the outside so whip. oh there goes my legs there like so what I'll do for now is I should carve way in Almost there. Didn't think I could. But now. <sighs> Me clicking away. There, yep, so we're going to need to make more plates. Look at this. We get pushed in a direction. If that was on, that would be doing damage to me now. Cool. So, 
the next thing we're going to need is more plates but also what I want that should come in here mm. that one's glass and I believe I'm going to find it there it is, dark glass Dark glass which requires thickened glass mixed with ink. Not very little ink, but I do have a lot of mystical black flowers. So then, grab that sand. See all the mobs around me. It? Right, that's it. I'm just going to leave you smelting up in there. That'll make thick and glass. Ooh, bow tie. Thank you. So that's what the bow looks like. Heck of a lot more powerful than my sword. The only downside is the draw speed, which I think I may have read wrong. Put them in there for now. Oh yeah. Flowers. Do I have a pest or not? What I did somewhere. there for now. Going to need the bowl. Ooh, so much stuff. Don't need those canola seeds then. Another pestle and mortar. Pop those in there for now. Gonna leave one. Gonna turn that into floor powder. Let's see how much of this is done. Not bad. Oh, that's not a bad trade. Put that back in there. Put 
Dumbass. Well, you might just notice the text come up again at the bottom, towards the bottom. Now, with my name, and I believe it said wilderness a moment ago, I have, if I just pop into here claimed these areas and I've got certain ones chunk loaded so like where the Bob Master is going to be that's going to be chunk loaded so if I ever leave here it will stay loaded up and hopefully grinding up mobs go away need to go in there as well You can go there too. What was I using? There it is. Wait, don't have shears. Where have I put my shears? Fact, what I'll do now is just sleep before we continue this any further. I'm still carrying too much stuff on me again. Put some of this away. Pop my sword. Do -do -do. That appears to have finished. I'm going to need another 21 of those, which I can do. Well, maybe not 21. 18 more petals. And I'll just demonstrate what this is going to look like. So I only have the ability to fly. Whoop. Now this glass does not let light in. Good if you're designing a mob grinder. If I just fight against this, so as you'll be able to see, this will be all three walls here. There will be cobblestone, and I'll, the lights are literally to uh, stop the mob grinder at that end. And slow it down because this can still produce but at a very slower rate just in case we get a bad log. I can hear tiny skeleton. Should really light up the underside, but hey. Right, so what I'm going to do off camera is finish off this, this mob grinder. So then that will be everything off this list. 
So next episode, for next episode, I'll come up with a new to-do list for us. Uh, some of you may notice the extended um, rice farm. That is purely to get these slime rice balls. Hmm, and what to do next episode? Our power seems to be stable at the moment. Really need to move the animals as well. I'm thinking maybe some more Britannia. I do need. That's a lot of mana. Yeah, maybe some more Britannia. We can get into Britannia. I think I also need to build an actual area for Britannia as well. So I might even do that off camera. That's something I can do. I can try and find a way of automating the production of living rock and living wood. So there's something for the next episode, guys. We are going to automate living rock and living wood so that we can wake uh, more mana pools, more mana spreaders, and always have some of of the components always with us ready which would be great because I'm also thinking the uh, Britannia greenhouse may be made out of living rock it's either gonna be living rock or a mossy brick some form of mossy brick so if you can comment in comment down below which one you'd prefer to see whether it is a mossy brick or um, living wood or maybe uh, living rock, sorry, or maybe even a mixture of the two. Actually, let's just grab. Because I do know there's something else. Where's my Alexica Britannia? Where I put it? I need a bookshelf for this lot. Functional flora. There is something else we can make. Is that maramorphosis metamorphic stone? So, yeah, if the or even if it's um, these variants of morphic stone, Go to Meta Morphic. So we've got forest, plains, mountain, fungal, swamp, desert, taiga, mesa, and back to forest. Hmm. So they're interesting. Plains cobble. may use them or may not. Let's actually have a look at Britannia briefly before we go. They look okay. Oh no, I know what I want now. Bifrost. I believe in order to get Bifrost. Rod of the Bifrost? Yeah. We need Elementum. Elementium. Oh, no. Elementum. Dragonstone. Pixie Dust. In order to get these, we're going to need access to Alfheim. So. I think that can be our next project coming up. A heck of a lot more Britannia because we've got into a little bit. We've got armor. We've got these wonderful boots and the ring. But I think we're needing more. So we're gonna. I'm gonna have to set up a set up an area somewhere where I can make the Britannia area. 
which will be a task for, I believe, next episode. Once the greenhouse is all set up and made, we'll be able to get more into this. Yep, that's definitely that's definitely next episode. So anyway, I hope everyone's this. I hope everyone has enjoyed the episode. I'm getting tongue tied today. And I'll catch you guys in the next one where we do more with Britannia and I'll also show off the uh, mob grinder and how it's working. So take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.